If you are a recent high school graduate or current undergraduate pre-med interested in the medical field, this video is for you. Let's take a look into the podiatric medical field. This is an evolving career in medicine that no one is talking about. It involves primary foot care for many population groups such as diabetics, pediatrics, geriatrics, and even athletes. There are currently 11 podiatric medical schools in the nation with an average class size of 45 to 60 students. To get into this rigorous schooling, you will need to complete four years of undergraduate study and take the MCAT. Podiatric Medical School is a four-year program. The first two years are the didactic courses in which you will learn about gross anatomy, pathology, pharmacology, microbiology, and of course, lower extremity anatomy. During your third year, or as we call it, the clinical year, you will get to see and treat patients. You will treat and diagnose pathologies such as plantar fasciitis, onychomycotic nails, tinea pedis, erythrasma, and much, much more. At the start of your fourth year, you will begin externships across the nation in order to find a residency to foster your surgical training. You must take three national board exams, the first after your didactic years, the second after your clinical year, and the third and final after graduation. This is when you would receive the title of DPM, Doctor of Podiatric Medicine. Residency is a mandatory three-year program taken after your four years of podiatric medical school. During residency is when you will receive your surgical training and develop your skills as a podiatric surgeon, being able to treat pathologies like bunions, ankle fractures, congenital and structural deformities. The process is very timely, difficult and costly. So why podiatric medicine? The need for podiatry is continuously growing with an aging population and rising rates of diabetes, hypertension, and renal insufficiency. Podiatrists have a great work-life balance with good hours and free reign as to where and when they practice, working in home care, hospital system, wound care, or owning their own private practices. When practicing, you can be surgical, clinical, or both, unlike a specialist in the MD or DO pathway in which they are committed to one or the other. Podiatrists have a wide array of choice in their medical practice and scope. The opportunities in podiatry are limitless. So why doesn't everyone do it? Well, student debt is on the rise with an average of 250,000 per student. You heard that right. You will spend a total of 11 years of schooling to obtain a practicing license. Insurance and liability are also growing concerns amongst all medical professions. Medicine is a calling. It is a job of service and care. You will feel your impact immediately to the patients that trust your years of dedication to the craft. This in itself is a satisfying feeling. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any other questions, please visit podiatristobefoundation.com, a nonprofit built to inspire future medical leaders or contact us at podiatristobe at gmail.com. As a nonprofit, we thrive off donations and the message. So please like, share, and comment to give insight into the wonderful world of podiatry. Thank you guys.